Hello, hello, Libra, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to be pulling messages for the week of May the 23rd until May the 29th. We will first be pulling out some Oracle messages, and then we're going to pull out lovers' messages. And then for those of you that are probably separated from somebody and there's no contact, maybe some messages that they would like to tell you. And then we're going to pull out a spread, okay? So for those of you that are back, welcome back, okay? Please, Universal Energy, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, please bring forward three messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These universal energies. All right, we got three. Owl spirit. You can see clearly now the rain is gone. <laughs> you can see clearly now. Um, dove spirit. Be peace. Okay? And then you have here peacock spirit. Let it shine. Libra, I like this for you so far. And I just saw before I said that, 111, okay? So let's see. Please, universal energies, two love messages. All right, you got three. I will take them. The first one is look deep within your heart and you will find and feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay, let me look at it like this. You also have here trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it, would aut it will automatically transform. So when you begin to trust the situation, okay, um, everything will begin to change. You know, union will come together. And look at this. I didn't even see that. And look at what's here. Sexual union. Honor the place in one another in which you are both one eternal soul. And there you will find your true bliss. So I don't know. Some of you are going to get, get a little loving. Okay. All right, so let's see what we have here. For those of you that could be separated from someone and they want to let you know the hidden truth about how they feel. Oh, Libra, they're telling you that you will be together again. We will be together again. That's what they say. I know I messed everything up. They are totally taking the blame for what happened. And, oh, you killed me. Oh, Libra. I want to be more than friends, okay? They don't want to be your friend, Libra, okay? They want to be your lover. They want to be more than friends, you know, whatever. I left you before you could leave me. So they probably walked away from the connection before you were able to, because you know what? They were in defense mode is what I'm hearing, okay? So let's see what we have here for you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. These universal energies. Oh my God, hold up. Eight of Swords. Stuck energy. This is you resisting the fact of being taken out of your comfort zone. I feel that for some of you, you're feeling that you are stuck in the middle. You know, you're stuck in the middle because you feel like it. This is the do it yourself. Okay. You do this to yourself. You do this. You know, this is something that you decide. And listen, if this is not you, this may be the other person. You know, energies may also be reversed. Let me get two messages, two messages for Libra. In the past, three of wands, waiting and waiting and waiting for some changes, waiting for the things that you have worked for, waiting to take some action, okay? Please, universal energies. Let me get one more for the final outcome, and then we're going to clarify. Libra. Libra. Queen of Pentacles, 
stable energy, okay? For some of you, you are working on your money. You know, you may be feeling like some of your presence, I'm hearing presence came in, but I feel like you are looking for more stability with the Queen of Pentacles. I feel that you are ve being very generous, um, you know, sharing your success, sharing your money, sharing your stability, okay? Um, let's see. Why do we have here the Eight of Swords? Eight of Swords for Libra. Eight of Swords for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, please universal energies for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The King of Wands, King of Wands. Some of you are stuck because I feel that you are unable to give someone more than what they could have wanted. Okay, for some of you, I think you're going around behaving as if though you're single. I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat this for you. This is way too many. Why is the King of Wands here? King of Wands. King of Wands. And I'm going to tell you, for some of you, you are hooked up with somebody. Ooh, you're heartbroken. Somebody's, somebody's heartbroken here. Okay, I feel that there's somebody here that's heartbroken. There's a transformation here that has happened and has left somebody heartbroken. I feel like you finally, when I look at the deck energy in this particular um, deck, in this particular reading and deck, I feel like for some of you, you're, you're squashing something that no longer serves you. I want you to see this, okay? Um, there was a lie here. Some of you are holding secrets in. Some of you are holding in something. Let me tell you. You'd rather cut your tongue off <laughs> than say what's on your mind. And that's just what I heard, you know. Um, with the two of two of cups here, this is love. Okay, this is soulmate energy. For some of you, you are looking to transform whatever your heartbreak was. You're looking to transform it, but you're hiding something. There's something here that's hidden. There's something here that you don't see. Why is the seven of swords here? What is being hidden? For Libra, what is being hidden for Libra? The Hierophant, marriage. <laughs> marriage, King of Swords. So with the Hierophant, some of you have decided that you are um, going to, you know, when I see the King of Swords here, I feel that some of you are going to make a decision. You know, and this is about a marriage, okay? This is about a marriage. Some of you, I'm going to tell you, you're going through a spiritual awakening that has forced you to look at things a certain way, a different way. Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of picking up that some of you are trying to hide something. You're not being honest about something. Somebody here is not being honest about something, okay? All right, so let's see. Um... Why is the three of wands here in the past? Why is the three of wands? You know what? Let's see? What did I say? This is six of pentacles. Some of you were breadcrumbing somebody. You know, this was in the past. Um, King of pentacles. Some of you got money. I'm hearing some of you got issues with this person. Okay, there was issues in the past. This person could live a distance from you. You know, with the King of Pentacles here and a Queen of Pentacles, this is a power couple showing up together. Just saying, power couple, okay? Um, and then you have here, looking toward the past, looking toward the past, wanting to reunite with the past. You know, um, this is also justice, okay? Making something even, making a decision to make something even, Um all right, that's what I'm picking up. Let's see, where's my deck? On my lap. All right, so let's see. What? Why is the justice here? Why is the justice here for Libra? Libra. And this is you showing up in your own reading because you are the scales that balance things out. You know, and I feel that if you were breadcrumbing somebody in the past, you're not doing it anymore because you're finally finding some balance here. You know, it looks like you went single. 
okay? This was something you were working on your own. You were working for your own money. With the world here, you realize that it was time to open up a new chapter. If you were in a place where you felt like you were stuck, you actually were able to dismiss yourself away from there and with the world energy. I feel like this is the universe giving you your rewards so you can go on. Um, you also have here the seven of cups. Okay. Um, you know, you could have chosen the wrong cup. You could have chosen the right cup that got you out of this. And here, look at this. I can't even make this up, Libra. Look at this. The devil energy showing up in your reading. Karmic debt is showing up for you. Okay, so whatever the situation was for some of you, you were in, a, you were in this and this was karmic, you know. There was a debt due with the devil energy, you know. Um, for some of you that could have been here, you know, the queen of 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 cups so i have here two queens keep in mind that the energies may always be reversed but these are you know two individual women and then we also have here king of swords and king of wands and king of pentacles i'm going to tell you for some of you if you have been in the wrong place some of you are being guided to take a different journey to take a brand new journey there's a there's a new there's a newness here <laughs> you know this is newness this is something opening up for you okay um why is the world here these universal energies why is the world here i feel like some of you had a spiritual awakening you know the tower energy something fell apart in the past whatever was karmic was swept away. You get the the Queen of Pentacles, not once, but twice, okay? So notice that, um, you know, I feel like some of you are on the right place to go somewhere with someone. You know, I, I, I'm, this is a power couple, you know? And then you have here the star. So with the star, Mm -mm. Okay, did I not see this in this reading? Okay, for some reason I thought the temperance was here, but it's not. Okay, so listen, listen up. Um, for the star, listen, we have um, a new moon coming up or a full moon, whatever the case is. Um, I haven't looked at my calendar lately because I've been so fucking busy. But you know what? With the, with the star, I feel that for some of you, you're clearing your path. You know, there is a bit of healing that had to go on here because of an energy. You know, I want to see why you are heartbroken. Okay, because there's a heartbreak here. And I, and I got to also clarify the tower. All right, why is the three of swords here? I feel like you, you know, this could be you. Okay, let's see what we got here. Marriage. Some of you are broken up about a marriage. You are hurt about a marriage. You are hurt about a union, you know? And this is, you know, like I said, you, you have here sexual union, you know, so some of you may be um, hurt how this kind of transpired, how things changed. Because you know what? I'm going to tell you. Um, with the Hierophant here and the Four of Wands, this could be, you know, the end of, of something. This could be a completion because some of you have woken up. To me, I don't know. This is spiritual awakening for me. Some of you are really going through something. And you're trying to reunite with somebody after you have um, paid some karmic debt back, you know? All right, let's see. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Oh, hold up. Okay. I'm only going to take this one and this one. All right. A decision being made. A decision. Um... 
a decision and speaking some truth. So for some of you, you could be deciding to speak up some truth after you either have made a decision or a decision could be pending here. I just saw 1515. Don't know what that means for some of you, but you know, th this situation fell apart because somebody talked to someone and talked about the truth, you know, and there was a decision here that was made. Give me one final message. Oh my fucking word. Look at this. This was the card that I was looking for before, the temperance, and it shows up now. This is what I this is what I thought I had before when I said I thought I had another card here. Temperance is showing up with the star. If you are part of this channel and you see regularly, you know that I love when these two cards come out together because I feel that for some of you, you're moving away from that. But I want you to see what's here. No, not once, but twice. That was my table. <laughs> not once, but twice. Stuck energy. Some of you are stuck somewhere. There's somebody here who is feeling stuck. You know, I feel there's a stuck energy here. A stuck energy that's going to require you to make a decision. Let me see. Why do we have here the eight of swords twice? That's one. Why do we have here the eight of swords twice? You're not invested. There's something here that you gave up on. All right. So here we go. Queen of Wands, a mistress, an extra person in the mix, a third party situation, okay? And you are finally giving up on this. This is like, I'm not investing in this anymore, okay? So some of you have given up on whatever past debt you had with this person because whatever it was, it was karmic. It was karmic. And I feel like some of you are finally releasing that and letting it go and there's a lot of new beginnings here for you libra all right well listen thank you so much for being here and take care